Hi friends, I'm Miss Courtney and today we're going to talk about self-talk. But first, I hear something. <laughs> oh, miss me! <laughs> Let's do it again! <gasps> oh, Sally and Josh, you forgot what you were supposed to be doing, huh? You were supposed to be cleaning up. Oops, the teacher said to clean up, but we were still playing. You started playing instead of cleaning up. I have an idea. Sit next to me. It looks like Sally and Josh did not keep their attention on cleaning up. They forgot to use the attentoscopes that we learned about last week. Let's remind them of what parts of our body we need to use when we are paying attention. We use our eyes for watching, ears for listening, our voice is quiet, and our bodies are calm. So we're using our eyes, our ears, and our brain when we're listening. Another way that helps me stay focused when I need to do something is by quietly telling myself over and over what it is I need to do. So I use self-talk to help me remember what I need to get done. Okay, Josh and Sally. Why do I use self-talk to help me get things done? Because it helps you do the things you need to do. Yeah. Wow, if we had used self-talk, then we would have finished cleaning up and not gotten in trouble playing. That's true. Self-talk helps you keep your attention on the things you need to do. Thank you for helping us learn today, Josh and Sally. Now, we're going to sing a song. <clears throat> Part of the song is familiar, but we're going to learn a new verse this week about self-talk. We use the listening rules. We use the listening rules. This is how we all can learn. We use the listening rules. We focus our attention. We focus our attention. This is how we all can learn. We focus our attention. We use our self-talk too. We use our self-talk too. This is how we all can learn. We use our self-talk to. Yeah, so we use our self-talk to help us get things done. Thanks for singing with me. I would like to show you a picture now. Here are Olivia and Tony. They are building tall towers with blocks. As they are building, they hear the teacher say, Everyone focus your attention. It's almost group time. Time to start cleaning up. The teacher plays the special cleanup music. Olivia begins to sing a little song to herself. She says, pick up the blocks and put them in the box. When that's done, go to group time. Hmm. She and Tony put the blocks into the box. Tony can barely hear Olivia singing. What are you singing? Asks Tony. Olivia sings her song for Tony. Pick up the blocks and put them in the box. When that's done, go to group time. It helps me remember what to do, she says. Olivia sings her song until all the blocks are picked up. Tony helps her put the box of blocks on the shelf. Olivia begins, when that's done, but Tony finishes, go to group time. And they do. So Olivia used self-talk to stay focused. She reminded herself that she needs to pick up the blocks, put them in the box, and then go to group time. Using self-talk helped Olivia's attention focus on what she needed to do. And if you sometimes use self-talk to help focus your attention on what you have to do, pat your head. 
yeah, so maybe if you, if you haven't used it before, maybe you can try it out. Maybe if your mom, if your family asks you to put your shoes away and then go wash your hands for dinner, maybe you could say, I need to put my shoes away and go wash my hands for dinner. Put my shoes away and go wash my hands for dinner. You can kind of make a song out of it. I have a book to read you before we go today. And it is another Eric Carle book, and it is called Does a Kangaroo Have a Mother Too? Does a king does a kangaroo have a mother too? Yes, a kangaroo has a mother, just like me and you. Does a lion have a mother too? Yes, a lion has a mother just like me and you. Does a giraffe have a mother too? Yes, a giraffe has a mother just like me and you. Does a penguin have a mother too? Yes. A penguin has a mother, just like me and you. Does a swan have a mother too? Yes, a swan has a mother, just like me and you. Does a fox have a mother too? Yes, a fox has a mother, just like me and you. Does a dolphin have a mother too? Yes, a dolphin has a mother just like me and you. Does a sheep have a mother too? Yes, a sheep has a mother just like me and you. Does a bear have a mother too? Yes, a bear has a mother just like me and you. Does an elephant have a mother too? Yes, an elephant has a mother just like me and you. Does a monkey have a mother too? Yes, a monkey has a mother just like me and you. And do animal mothers love their babies? Yes, yes, of course they do. Animal mothers love their babies just as yours loves you. Thanks for listening, boys and girls. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.